Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So on this video, I'm going to try to show you how to uh, turn on the HDR and how to switch to 120 Hertz and how to also switch to a G-Sync mode for those of you who have NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, the great thing about this OLED C1048 inch, no matter what graphics cards you have, uh, green or red, NVIDIA or AMD, it supports both G-Sync and FreeSync 1, FreeSync 2 Premium. So that's the beauty about this TV. Uh, so first thing first, I'm going to show you how to turn the HDR on your PC. When you connect your PC, this is my PC right over here. You can see the uh, Gorilla Glass that it's reflecting. Uh, that's the kind of case that I have. It cost me a lot of money, by the way. And... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to select a HDR. The first thing you want to do is you take your mouse cursor and go down to the uh, the start, click on the start, and then go to a uh, settings. And under the settings, go to a display sound. And under display, right here, you click on a display make sure you turn the uh, play HDR games and apps now I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna turn it back on just to show you that show you that uh, difference you see how immediately the instant game response mode it's launched when you connect to HDMI 2.1 that's because 40 gigabits per second uh, will send that higher bandwidth and you'll have that lowest possible latency alright so let's turn that on right here you you just click on it and you slide the cursor over here and then you'll see HDR on the right side right over here you see the HDR HDR is turned on now you have HDR okay so the second thing is how to change uh, to a G-Sync now to change to a G-Sync you have to go to your NVIDIA so basically you have to click right here right click on your mouse and you'll see this uh, highlighted square display and under NVIDIA control panel click on the NVIDIA control panel and when you click on it just wait for it to load up alright there it is so right here under your display where it says change resolution you will see a list of things for you to adjust your color settings your HDCP status your digital audio your multiple display and right here you'll see the G-Sync so click on it and enable the full screen mode and enable the G-Sync and G-Sync compatible now that's done it's enabled and you're pretty much all set to go there it is as a matter of fact uh, the computer will automatically detect as a matter of fact here there it is uh, it automatically detects that you have a G-Sync so as soon as you connect a G-Sync capable graphics card this television will automatically uh, utilize it but just click on it to make sure that you have uh, G-Sync available. But also it's a good thing to select it for both windowed and full screen mode. So I'll select it for both window and a full screen mode. So right here I'll click apply. And now it's selected for both windows and the full screen mode. Now we have a G-Sync selected. So what's the next next thing to do? The next thing to do is obviously your uh, refresh rate. How do you do that? Well, ref refresh rate, it's under uh, resolution right here. When you click change resolution, you'll see the refresh rate. And right under refresh rate, you'll be able to choose uh, 120 hertz where it's available. Now, here's the thing. A couple of things you need to understand. The only way you can select 120 hertz refresh rate is under a 1440p or 1080p you cannot use it under 4k 
if you have 4k selected you will not be able to use 120 hertz under a 4k so i just want to clarify that that you cannot use 120 hertz with a native 4k resolution uh, so it's really important that people uh, remember that and the last but not least is your um settings here which one to use i would highly suggest that you use a uh, ycbcr444 because you have a hdmi 2.1 uh, chipset built inside this television so select YCBCR444 this will give you the best possible uh, output color information so select 444 and click apply and once you select the 444 you will be able to use instead of 8-bit now you will be able to use a 10-bit let me see here But that's fine for some reason it's only letting me use the 8 bit per per color but that's that's fine uh, we still have 444 here available so we'll use that I'll have to go check more on this to find out why that is meaning I'll have to find out more maybe if you guys know please let me know why is it that the uh, on my graphics card NVIDIA it's only allowing me the 8 bit per second let's see if I switch to uh, uh, 422 let's see what happens can I switch to 10 bit no nah, it won't let me do it interesting interesting but anyway let's leave it at 444 let's apply it doesn't matter uh, you still get it this is still a 10 bit television so it doesn't really matter and you're getting the YCBCR444, you're getting the best possible uh, output color, you're getting the best possible information from your HDMI to give you that best possible output color. So now you got the G-Sync turned on, and now you got the HDR. Uh, now think about this. You have HDR, and you have a YCBCR444 with G-Sync. I hope these uh, little uh, tips here help you guys out. If you have any more questions, just let me know down below. Uh, I would highly suggest that you guys connect your PC to this uh, C1048 inch OLED TV. Uh, this TV is just a gift that keeps on giving. And thank you, LG, for gifting this to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.